What's the best free video editing software for Mac and Windows PC right now? Well, after putting all the leading options without watermarks on both platforms to the test, in this video, I'll run through everything that you need to know so that you can decide which one is the best free video editor for you, including my top recommendations on both platforms. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you're seeing value in this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well. Oh, and all the links to everything I mentioned, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. So if you're looking to level up your video creation, but you don't have the budget to splurge on more expensive options like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut, the good news is, is that there are a ton of powerful free video editors for PC and Mac to choose from. But we all know that more options means a much harder decision to determine which one is the best for your workflow. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna be condensing what we've learned from days of testing, covering the pros and cons of all the best video editors to help you quickly identify the best option for you right now. And while you're watching, if you hear me mention the software that you're using right now, make sure you drop a comment with the number one thing that you think others should know about it. Is there a killer feature that people should know about? Is there something that you absolutely hate about it? Let everyone know to save them time when they're deciding. And then once we're done with my recommendations, I'm also gonna share with you my number one source for quickly and easily creating video animations for your videos. So getting to the recommendations, my top picks right now come down to iMovie, Shotcut, and DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm gonna dive into each one of these to help you decide which one is the right one for you, along with any requirements or things that you need to be aware of, like if it'll work on your computer or not. So the first one then is iMovie. Now this is only available for Mac users. There's not a PC version of this one, unfortunately, but this is an amazing free video editing program with a really easy to use and really intuitive interface. They make it really easy for anyone to start editing, even if you're an absolute beginner and have never edited before, you'll be able to figure out iMovie pretty quick. Now, while it's the simplest and easiest to use out of my shortlist, it's also the one with probably the least amount of features or customization or advanced controls when comparing it to the other options as well. But what it does have is a clear upgrade path for those that are looking for those more advanced features and controls to the Big Brother application, Final Cut, which shares a very similar interface. So if you learn and master iMovie, then you can easily transition up to Final Cut if you have the need to. I'd say the biggest drawback with iMovie right now is that they still don't support portrait videos. So if you wanna be editing down things like Instagram stories or YouTube stories, then that's really not something you can do easily in iMovie. But for regular widescreen videos like YouTube content, then it's fine. So the next one then is Shotcut, and this will work on both Mac and PC. Now this one isn't as intuitive or as easy to use as something like iMovie, but this is still gonna be great whether you're an absolute beginner, right through to someone at the more advanced end of things once you figure out where everything is and how it all works together. Now this one does have a lot more advanced features and control in it than something like iMovie. Things like being able to customize all of your settings around your video files that you're saving out or also giving you the ability to edit things like portrait videos, which you couldn't do in iMovie. So while that initial learning curve in Shotcut may be a little bit steeper for figuring everything out, you still have the beauty of having a streamlined video editor allowing you to edit fast with a lot of the more advanced features in there as well. And the third recommendation then is DaVinci Resolve, which will also work on both Mac and PC. Now this one is hands down the most professional video editing software out there on Mac or PC for free. It is actually ridiculous what they're giving you access to for free. People literally use this to edit top level movies, documentaries, TV shows. This software is the real deal. It's also the most complicated, especially for an absolute beginner to jump in and start seeing results with it. The tools and the features and everything you get access to inside of Resolve really are at that top pro level, which also means that you're going to need to have a fairly powerful computer to be able to run it and to be able to run it smoothly. Now up from this free version, there is also a studio version, a paid version of DaVinci Resolve, which unlocks more advanced filters and effects and higher resolutions and higher frame rates, and also will let you take advantage of more powerful computers and video cards as well. 
But in saying that, probably most people that are gonna be using this aren't gonna be hitting those limits or seeing this as restrictions for what they're able to do inside of the free version of Resolve. So those are my top three recommendations right now. iMovie, Shotcut, and DaVinci Resolve. But which one is right for you? And what are my recommendations? I think if you're on a Mac and you're an absolute beginner right through to that intermediate level, iMovie could be the perfect option for you given how simple it is to use, how intuitive it is to get in there and get editing fast. If you don't need any of those more advanced features or pro level features, then iMovie could be the perfect application for you. Shotcut is gonna be perfect for anyone, whether you're on Mac or PC, whether you are an absolute beginner right through to someone on that intermediate to advanced end, because it's going to be easy enough for you to get up to speed and editing things down fast, but still having access to those more advanced features to let you dial in and get more control over your edits as you need it. Whereas DaVinci Resolve is really gonna be suited for someone at that intermediate level, right through to advanced or pro level video editing someone looking for all of those advanced top level features and control, or also someone who really wants to learn and master professional video editing application and is willing to invest that time to do so. But also probably someone that has a more powerful computer system as well. Now, if you wanna learn how to edit in any one of these three applications, we have videos linked below where they are complete walkthrough tutorials showing you how to edit fast and efficiently in iMovie, in Shotcut, and in DaVinci Resolve. So definitely check out those links in the description below. Now, earlier in the video, I said I'd also share with you our number one source for creating video animations right now, showing you how to create custom intros and titles and graphics really quickly and easily, just like the ones you're seeing on screen right now. Well, these are done in a service called Placeit, and there is a link on screen now where we take you through how you can create your own graphics and animations using Placeit and taking you through the process step by step. So check out that video and I'll see you in the next one.